welcome to this tutorial. Today you are going to learn one of my favorite stitches which is central extended single crochet, chain one, skip one. It sounds like a mouthful but it's actually very straightforward. This stitch creates a beautiful knit-like fabric where stitches line up on top of each other just like they do in knitting. However, with the chain in the middle, creates a lot of lightness and drape on it, and I absolutely love it. Now, if you've worked waistcoat stitch before, don't worry. This stitch is actually a lot easier than regular central single crochet or waistcoat stitch, and I'm sure you're going to love it as much as I do. I use this stitch on my Aurora vest, and you can find it on my website or Ravelry shops, and it is definitely one that I will be using a lot more in the future. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time! You will start working the stitch with an odd number of stitches. Here I have 19 chains, and then I have chain 1 for my turning chain. You will start by inserting your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. That is what's called an extended single crochet. Then you chain one, skip one, and repeat. Once you finish your first row, you can start seeing the little gaps in between. So these gaps in between are chain spaces. From now on, we are only going to work stitches on to the other stitches from previous rows, and we will always chain one and skip this chain space. Now, to make it a central extended single crochet, you have to work in between the V in the stitch. On the very first row, it's very difficult to see that V, but I can see it here. These two loops are the front V, and on the back of my work it's a little bit easier to see. These two loops are the back V. You need to work your stitch in between both Vs. So I see those two loops at the front, that's my front V, and then I can see in between those two the loop that belongs to the back V. So I'm gonna work in side these ones. At the beginning it's hard to see it but as you work more rows it's going to get a lot easier. So I'm going to show you one more time. Here those are my front V's and then that one in between is part of my back V so I want to go in right there. So I have two loops on the left side and two loops on the right side. And just like in the previous row, I will chain one and skip my chain space. The first and the last stitch are the hardest to see. So if you can't see them very well, do your best, but it won't make a huge difference. Okay, there you go. We're gonna continue doing this on every row. So chain one for your turning chain. And on this following row, you can see those Vs a lot easier. So it will be a lot easier to work inside the stitch. Okay, so just like I did before, there's the two front Vs, and in between them, behind, there's that other loop from the back V. So you want to go in there. So two loops on the right, two loops on the left. You finished? No, darling, I'm almost done the... You finished? 
No, darling. Now, once I'm in at the front, I'll show you what it looks like at the back. Do you see at the back, there is my back V and I am right in the middle of it. And I'm going to work my stitch there. So I'm going to work a few more rows and then show you what that looks like. So here's my swatch after a few rows. As you can see, you have these V's that line up on top of each other, and that looks really, really cool. And the best part about this stitch is that it's pretty reversible. I mean, it doesn't look exactly the same every row. You can see kind of they lean in different directions, but in general, it's pretty reversible and it gives you a very streamlined effect. Also, the fact that there are those chains in between makes them really, really light and airy. And the drape is lovely without being completely see-through. So I could wear it without um, like an undershirt or something like that if I'm using it for a garment. So I hope you've enjoyed this stitch and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you next time.